Um, before we uh, have prayer, I do want to share just a couple of brief thoughts that uh, uh, God was sharing with me uh, this week. Um, I just returned from the uh, NAD Educators Convention in Phoenix, and um, just over 5,000 educators, administrators, and other staff came together. Just an outstanding um, uh, time that we spent there. Um, uh, it's been a, uh, uh, this convention has been taking place uh, since the year 2000. The last one was in 2018, and, hope, and I'm hoping that the next one will be in heaven. Um, and I want to just share w one brief story of one, uh, one um, speaker shared. Um, uh, there was an, an elderly woman who had, uh, was nearing um, the end of her life, and so she spoke to a pastor and um, asked the pastor to um, have her service and what to do for her funeral service. And she also said, when I am in the casket, please uh, place a fork in my hand. And the pastor said, what are you talking about? Why do you need a fork in your hand? I don't understand. And she said that, Pastor, you know that at the uh, uh, potlucks that we have at church, we don't have paper plates. We don't have plastic uh, forks and spoons. We have regular plates. We have regular silverware. And the, the ladies in the kitchen, they only put out the main courses uh, uh, to eat at the beginning in that when you are finished eating, you have to take your plate to the kitchen, and then the desserts are served, and every week uh, that I would come in with my plate, they would always say, keep your fork, because the best is yet to come. And she said to the pastor, when you stand next to my casket and the people come by to pay respects, and they see the fork, and they ask, what is that about? He said, uh, tell them that she believed that the best is yet to come. And um, I believe that, very much so. Um, and, and those of you who um, know what I typically say, the reason for this is because Jesus is. Jesus is? I firmly believe that he is indeed coming soon. And we need to be ready. Um, last week, there were, I don't know, 70, 80, 100 people here that gathered on Sunday morning. And we didn't gather together to do anything uh, because of a to hear a specific speaker, I think that most all of us were here to worship God and to pray together. And I believe that we need to be doing more of that together. We uh, filled a whiteboard with all kinds of attributes that, that the um, uh, church experienced because they had prayed for the Holy Spirit. Um, I learned this week and was reminded Luke chapter 9, verses 1 and 2, Jesus empowered his disciples empowered them to be able to preach, to teach, to heal the sick, to have power over demons, all of these different things. And Jesus said, when we pray for the Holy Spirit, Acts 1-8, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will have power. And I believe that we at Chapel Oaks, we need to be praying for the Holy Spirit. We need to be gathering in small groups like we did last week um, on Sunday morning. And it, it, and, and, I, and it's not me saying this. I believe the Holy Spirit is calling you to be in a small group, to pray and to seek God. And, and I believe the time is now. We need to be there. I feel a sense of urgency that time is short. We see all the terrible things that are happening around us with the political lands, landscape, economical landscape, natural disasters, and time and time again. So please, please, please um, see a pastor, see an elder. If you want to be a part of a small group that is wanting to pray for the power of the Holy Spirit, if we want to see chapel open, folks experience the things that we put on that board last Sunday morning, then we need to be about this. And so at this time, please, uh, if you can, enable, kneel with me as we pray, seeking for the Holy Spirit.